Hey, hey lovelies. So today we are going to be setting up my fall coffee and tea station. You can see that this is where I have my coffee and um, mugs. I felt like this space was gonna work with what I wanted to do, but it's definitely congested. And don't judge me, there is uh, leftover coffee still in the coffee pot. But trust me, it'll get cleaned out. Um, one of the reasons I chose this space is because this drawer was bigger. Um, definitely not organized. I didn't say that this was gonna be an organization video, but after looking at it, I really feel like this space next to my sink was gonna be just a better fit for the coffee machine just because it is bigger. Um, the cabinet space above is already being used, um, but I do have some extra space here on this side. So I kind of have an idea of where I may wanna shift things. Um, definitely gonna take some moving around, but I hope that you guys are inspired and I hope that you guys um, enjoy what it is that you see. And this little drawer was just, it's just such a small space. Um, Again, I think I have an idea, but it's definitely gonna take some playing around. By now I kind of have the basic uh, pieces in place and here is me really just putting things where I think I want them. You're gonna notice that they change throughout um, just as I'm adding in the different um, accessories and all to this coffee station, I start moving things around. But of course, no coffee station is complete without having some biscotti, so I'm definitely gonna set that up. And I found these really cute sprinkles at my local grocers, and I added them into this little mason shaker jar. I also made sure to use some uh, granulated uh, sugar cane in a little sugar stir. And then here I am using the medium size uh, container for our coffee. We love Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but I do wanna know, are you a Starbucks drinker, a Dunkin' Donuts uh, coffee drinker, or a McDonald's coffee person? Because believe it or not, McDonald's does have some good coffee. Now, when I say that we love tea, I cannot stress how much tea we have. <laughs> so uh, the large container is actually what's going to be storing our tea. I did want something that was going to be uh, like a tray to place them in, but we have so much tea. I mean, this was just going to work. Now, these wafers I actually found at TJ Maxx. My kids love them. I feel like they're the perfect um, little dipping biscuit for tea, and so I definitely wanted to make sure I had that. Now, this space, because this drawer is small, I decided to use it just for some stirrers, some of our um, sweeteners for our coffee, of course, some pumpkin pie spice, and then um, I just left some extra space in case anything comes up that I wanna place in this drawer. So. Um, um, definitely leaving some room for any upcoming uh, things that I want to add. And then, of course, if you have any loose uh, tea, um, this tea diffuser uh, is perfect for that. So um, this is how I'm basically using this drawer. Of course, I have two teenage daughters, so the to-go cups are perfect. And then the above counter space, I decided to put any of my loose tea some extra wafers, and then of course the sweeteners. But this is the finished look. I absolutely love it. I feel like this is the perfect fall coffee, coffee tea station. Um, didn't take up too much space, but when it comes to my um, holiday coffee bars, I definitely like to have a little spread. So I yeah, put these gold containers to use. We have our wafers, our coffee, and our tea in here, and then the um, the little tray with the pumpkin. I'm just loving the way that the white and the amber gold kind of looks together. I feel like it's exactly what I was going for. Um, I did find these vanilla and honey stirs at TJ Maxx, and then of course that little um, uh, lamb leaf, I guess, plant also at TJ Maxx. Uh, these wafer cookies also at TJ Maxx. Um, again, if I didn't mention it, everything is either from TJ Maxx or the Target dollar spot, but I love how everything looks. I do wanna know what is your favorite um, part of this. In my personal opinion, I just love the colors. I feel like it's just really working well with what we have. Um, you will actually see my favorite coffee recipe coming up, so make sure to stay tuned. But this is the finished look. Uh, 
This is basically what we're going to use throughout the holidays until I set up the Christmas station, which you guys love so much. I'm actually going to make sure to link my uh, Christmas station from last year um, because you guys are already watching it. So you can probably find that on the screen right now. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to stay tuned for my fall inspired uh, coffee and as always I appreciate you guys so much I am so grateful for all of the love and support that you guys have given me and if you are not currently subscribed please make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one